You must be Mr. Dunlop. Yep. Either you're closing your eyes to a situation you do not wish to acknowledge, or you are not aware of the caliber of disaster indicated by the presence of a pool table in your community. Well, you got trouble, my friends. Right here, I say trouble, right here in River City. Why, sure, I'm a billiard player. Certainly mighty proud to say, I'm always mighty proud to say. I consider that the hours I spend with a cue in my hand are golden. Help me cultivate horse sense, and a cool head, and a keen eye. Ever try and take and give an eye-clad leaf to yourself from a three-rail billiard shot? But just as I say it takes judgment and brains and maturity to scorn a bot line game, I say that any boo can take and shove a ball in a pocket. And I call that sloth the first big step on the road to the depths of day. Grenada say first, medicinal wine from a teaspoon, then beer from a bottle. And the next thing you know your son is playing for money in a pinchback suit. And listening to some mega out of town Jasper here to tell about horse race gambling. Not a wholesome trot race, no, but a race where they sit down right on the horse. Like to see some stuck up jockey boy sitting on Dan Patch, make your blood boil, well I should say. Now friends, let me tell you what I mean. You got one, two, three, four, five, six pockets on a table. Pockets to mark the difference between a gentleman and a bum with a capital B that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. And all week long, your River City youth will be frittering away. I say your young man will be fritter. Frittering away there, noon time, supper time, short time too. Get the ball in the pocket, never mind getting the dandelions pulled or the screen door patched to the beast they found. Never mind pumping any water to your parents are caught with a cistern empty on a Saturday night and that's trouble. Yes, you got lots and lots of trouble. I'm thinking of the kids in the knickerbocker, shirt tail young ones, peeking in the pool hall window after school, you got trouble, folks. Right here in River City. Trouble with a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. No, I know all you folks are the right kind of parents. I'm gonna be perfectly frank. Would you like to know what kind of conversation goes on with it loafing around that hall? They be trying out Bevo, trying out Cubebs, trying out tailor maids like Cigarette Fiends, and bragging all about how they're gonna cover up a telltale breathless sense and one fine night. They leave the pool hall, headed for the dance at the armory. Liberty men in scarlet women and ragtime. Shameless music that'll grab your son, your daughter, with the arms of a jungle, animal instinct, masteria. Friends, the idle brain is the devil's playground. Trouble! Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. We've surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Gotta figure out a way to keep the young ones moral after school. Mothers of River City, heed that warning before it's too late. Watch for the telltale signs of corruption. The minute your son leaves the house, does he rebuckle his knickerbockers below the knee? Is there a nicotine stain on his index finger? A dime novel hidden in the corn crib? Is he starting to memorize jokes from Captain Billy's whiz bag? Are certain words creeping into his conversation? Words like, swell. Trouble. And so is your old man. Trouble. Well, if so, my friends, we got trouble. Right here in River City. With a capital T and that rhymes with P and that stands for pool. We've surely got trouble. Right here in River City. Remember the main Plymouth Rock in the Golden Rule. Oh, we got trouble. We're in terrible, terrible trouble. That game with the 15 numbered balls is the devil's tool. Oh yes, we got trouble, trouble, trouble. With a T. You gotta rhyme with P. And that stands for pool.